Hello everyone. Namaskar. Rajkrishna this side. So in the last few video we saw how we can uh, find the best fit line with a given set of data. And now we are going to see how we can find the how we can fit a second degree parabola with some given data. Okay. So we need to find a fitting second degree parabola so what will be the steps uh, which we will be following again the first step will be similar as that of uh, the straight line we will assume a second degree parabola so uh, let's uh, assume that uh, the second degree or rather the equation of the second degree parabola is given by y equals to a plus bx plus cx square. Let's mark this as equation number 1. Then similar to as we have seen in the straight line case, we'll have some normal equations. Uh, in this case, it is a bit easier to learn, although we have three variables coming into picture here. So normal equations will be the first one will be summation y equals to n a I will tell you the pattern how you can uh, learn this plus b times summation x plus c times summation x square this will be the second equation because first we have already assumed second will be summation x y equals to Third will be summation x square y equals to. Okay. This will be a times summation x plus b times summation x square plus c times summation x. Here again a times summation x square, b times summation x cube c times summation x power. I hope you can see some pattern. In the first equation, all, all you need to uh, keep track of is the LHS. Otherwise, RHS, you can see some pattern. Uh, x power 0, simply Na. x power 1 term, x power 2 term. So, 0, 1, 2. In the second equation, you can see power 1, 2, 3. And in third, you can see 2, 3, 4. So, 0, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3 and 2, 3, 4. This is just for uh, learning the formula. 0, 1, 2. I am talking about the powers of x. Then 1, 2, 3 and then 2, 3, 4. Now we will need table for these values. So I have x values which are given as Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 yeah obviously I uh, use calculator because in most of the cases in most of the colleges it is allowed because it comes parallelly with numerical integration and differentiation in that course only but if it is not allowed then you can uh, manage yourself so uh, y values are given 6, 11, 18, 27 although it will be difficult then but with calculator things uh, becomes easy because in this problem only later on we will be solving the equation in three variables so using calculator that becomes even more easier now what all we need power 1 of x is already covered let us cover power 2 x square will be 1, 4, 
9 and 16 let's cover power 3 x cube will be 1 8 27 and 64 Let's cover power four, so it will be one, sixteen, eighty-one. Let's cover x, y as well. So that will be six, twenty-two, fifty-four, and hundred and eight. And finally, x square y so it will be six. It will be forty-four. It will be eighteen into nine. I just uh, forget table as well. One sixty-two, and then twenty-seven into sixteen, which I will need some sort of a calculator. Four thirty. so because there is a lesser space let's uh, calculate everything which we need separately so summation x will be sum of all the values of x so that will be 7 to 9 and 10 next is summation y which will be 17 plus 18 plus 27 this is 62 next up we'll have summation x Square, which will be fourteen plus sixteen, that will be thirty. Next will be summation x cube will be nine plus twenty seven plus sixty four, giving us hundred. Summation x power four, which is two hundred and fifty six plus eighty one. Plus seventeen, so this is giving us three hundred and fifty-four. Next up will be summation of x y, so that will be twenty-eight plus fifty-four plus hundred and ninety, and finally summation of x square y, which will be fifty plus hundred and sixty-two. Plus four hundred and thirty-two, so giving us six hundred and forty-four. So let's plug in this value. So first was summation y equals to I guess. So summation y equals to it was n a plus. B times summation x plus C times summation x square. So summation y is sixty-two. N a. Four terms are there, so n equals to four times a. Four a plus B times summation x. Summation x is ten, so it will be ten b. C times summation x square, so it will be thirty c. So there you get your first equation. Second equation was summation x y equals to. We started from power one, then power two, then power three. So summation x y is one ninety equals to uh, summation x is ten. Summation x square is thirty. Summation x cube is done. This is equation number two. Uh, then we have uh, third was summation x square y equals to a times summation x square plus b times summation x cube plus c times summation x power four. So summation x square y is six forty four equals to a times summation x square. So A times summation x square is thirty. So thirty a summation x cube is hundred, and summation x power four is three fifty four. 
this is your equation number 3 let me see i will be using uh, although there are many methods to find a solution of a, a equation in three variables but uh, i will be sticking to calculator only so uh, when i press mode i get uh, the fifth option as equation solving so i will be choosing three variable one which is the second choice here okay so in first equation i have the co uh, first constant term as 4 then 10 then 30 and uh, in the RHS I have 62 similarly I am having 10 30 100 and 190 and finally I am having 30 100 354 and 644 so this is finally giving us first value which will uh, be the value of A is 3 what is the second one it is the value of y or in this case it is b which is giving us 2 and the third one is 1 okay so if this are the values of a and b and c our equation uh, which we have assumed as y equals to a plus bx plus cx square would be a plus bx plus cx square will look something like this let me check uh, if in the textbook they have solved the same way they have got a as 3 b as 2 and c as 1 3 plus 2x plus x square perfectly fine so that's it uh, for today i think uh, what you learned uh, is how we can fit a second degree parabola given the set of data so fit a second degree curve of regression of y on x to the following data first step was to assume a Equation of a second degree parabola which is of the form y equals to a plus bx plus cx square Then the normal equation easier in this case uh, Although uh, the straight line case also will solve couple of more problems It will get easier than uh, just a matter of uh, writing equations So three equations I told you how you can remember this summation y, summation x, y and summation x square y in LHS That you have to take care of And here you have power 0, 1, 2 1, 2, 3 and 2, 3, 4 So NA, B summation X, A, B, C coefficient will come uh, in all the three equations And after this, after you make, after this you make a table, plug in the value, you get three equations And from that uh, you need to find the value of A, B and C Finally put those values as a constant in our original equation and there you get y equals to 3 plus 2x plus x square as your final best fitting parameter. So that's it for today. We'll see you. This uh, will be uh, there in uh, I think curve fitting playlist. So uh, do ask that for more such problem. Thanks again.